Hi there, it's Dr. Scott McLean. Today we're going to be showing you how to use the Dexis 3800 to do a pickup impression on upper and lower on four using the Polo scan bodies. So we're going to start by doing a impression of both the upper and the lower arches with the prosthesis in place. So this chap has an all on four upper and an all on four lower, which we did about four months ago. And he's back in and he wants to get the finals done. So we're going to do a pickup of the teeth first. And you can see that um, we're just going in and scanning those. those can, this scan can be done by either you or your dental assistant. And you can see, uh, looking at the computer, we can see a, a beautiful pickup scan. This is going to help to reference where the bridges are to the implants. So we'll do a bite on both left and right and uh, do a pickup that way so that we know where the vertical is, also where everything is from a anterior, posterior. And um, so anyway, it's a, it's a good pickup. Then we'll also pick up uh, the bridges themselves. So we'll take them out of the patient's mouth, unscrew them and do a 3D scan of these. So we're doing top and taglio surface and on the sides and we get this 3D model which we're going to use uh, at the lab to do the records. So you do have to get a few scans but it's not that many and you can get it done. So let's have a look at it. You can see how when this is picked up it does a beautiful job. So the lower arch when it's removed will scan this and um, it allows the lab tech to know exactly where things are positioned to the implants. This is on multi-units, it has to be on multi-units. So then we'll do the polo scan body. So we'll put these in place, tighten them down, and do a quick pass over top of the scan bodies, not to touch it too much because we don't want to move them. And uh, so when we do this, we're picking up the relative position of the implants to each other. So this is allowing us to see where the bar is going to sit inside the mouth so that we want to pass a fitting bar so these scan bodies tell us where the implant multi-units are you have to have multi-units on the all in four implant system in order to do this scan so there they are there's the scan bodies and you can see it references the space between the implants by having an extension arm and this extension arm is going to be scanned so then the multi-units are picked up relative to each other and so it's a nice little system and I've been having great success with this. So we don't have to pick up the palate here because we're picking up relative implant position. You can pick up some of the rugae to help to let the lab orient this because they're going to be taking 3D layering. And uh, then we'll also do a lower polo scan. So we'll pick that up and you can see here uh, we can use the same scan bodies because we'll take them out and put them on the lower and um, use different lengths and different sizes they screw together and uh, you don't want to get these scratched you got to be careful when you're cleaning but them here i am going with my dexis 3800 which does a beautiful job scanning this and you do a quick scan not to stay in one spot too long but this allows us to get the relative position of those implants to each other one of the nice things about the dexis 3800 it's plugged into a laptop here and you can see that when we're doing this, it's a touch screen, so you can zoom in, zoom out with the touch screen. But it allows you to go around the office and uh, unplug it and not have to reboot it, which is a real big feature because rebooting takes a fair bit of time on some of these scanners. We have four different scanners, so ask me how I know. Anyway, then we'll also scan the lower white caps and upper white caps. So we'll put these on, and this is gonna allow us to pick up the tissue. So by picking up the soft tissue, we can then put all these scans together and allow us to see the soft tissue, the relative position of the implants and the multi-units, also the AP and then the vertical, and it shows us everything we need about the case and the, the number of scans that we had to do. So we started with the upper and lower, and then we also did a bite. Then we took the bridges out, scanned the bridges themselves, and uh, that's the temporaries. And then we then did the white caps and of course we did the polos. So all those scans together enable you to get the data that is needed to fabricate the final bridges. 
So we're going to come back and do some verification jigs and show how this all works. And um, But this is how the Dexus 3800 is just killing it.